going to introduce you to a company that builds exoskeleton. The exoskeleton to help paralyzed people walk again. Nate Harding is with me. He's the co-founder of Exobionics. He's with us. As is Shane Mosco, who at this very moment is putting on the exoskeleton and in a moment will walk. We also have Mike Glover with us, who's the physical therapist for Mr. Mosco, getting the exoskeleton on as we speak. Nate Harding, to you first. We're going to talk over the top of these two, okay? Okay. Now, how does it work? Is, is it a, a purely mechanical device or what? Well, it's an electromechanical device that has sensors all over it that sense what the patient inside is trying to do and then helps them well, do it. It, it and, senses what the, the person wants to do. Right. So if his brain says, move that leg, there's a sensor that it feels that exactly. and makes the exactly. machine move. Because that's the idea of this machine is for rehabilitation of people who've been paralyzed. They might be completely paralyzed, but they might still have some ability left. And those people who have some ability left, like after a stroke, yeah. they can relearn how to walk if they can use that ability as much as possible. So the machine tries to sense just what they can do yeah. and then help them do a step, but not provide any more help than necessary. Uh, because you want them to work as hard as possible. But it provides help on a temporary basis after a couple of years or whatever. The exoskeleton is, is, is gone and you do something else? Well, our target audience right now is rehabilitation centers because okay. these things are a fantastic rehabilitation tool right now, and everything about this tool is designed to move from patient to patient to patient. Okay. So it's usually about people who have had something like a stroke, and they're going to learn to walk again, and they're going to walk out of the machine. But then it can be about people who are completely paralyzed and want to do some health and wellness visits to get themselves okay. up and walking. And Shane Mosco, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that's to interrupt. okay. Shane Mosco, you're the star of this particular show today. You are paralyzed from the waist down. From the waist down, yes, sir. And you've been in this state for how many years? About two years. Two years. Are you about to walk with the aid of the exoskeleton? You're going to do I this, am. Yes, okay. okay, Mr. Glover? Take it away. We're going to watch this. So um, yep. I'm going to do some commentary over the top. You just keep going. And I take it that um, Shane is now thinking about moving. And that transfers to the machine, which helps him walk. Have I got that right, Nate? Well, in the case of standing up, it's triggered by Mike, because we want that to be as safe as possible. Yep. But we, you'll see him start walking now soon. And Shane has a bit of ability in his legs, and he'll, he'll do some things that transfer himself over his front foot. Okay. The machine will see that, and then they'll see him try to move just a little, and then it'll take the step for him. How are you feeling, Mike? Shane? Great. Incredible. Yes. Okay. Feels good to be standing up. Definitely. Do it. <laughs> Stop. Okay. First okay. step. Yeah. Yes. That works. Now, that, yeah, it's fantastic, that, isn't that it? Almost brings tears to my eyes, actually, because that man is paralyzed from the waist down for several years and is now walking around this studio in a fairly acceptable fashion. I mean, it feels good to you, sure. Definitely. It feels incredible. Better than sitting in a wheelchair. Oh, uh, yeah, so you bet that. <laughs> How long have you been actually using this exoskeleton? I've been using this device for about a year and a half now. Okay. And on my very first time in the device, I got up and took about 500 steps. Yeah. So right then and there, you know, I was, I was up and I was standing and I was walking. And, you know, to, to look at this device and to yeah. see my wheelchair and, you know, think that I'm supposed to be confined to this, you know, it's, it's a breakthrough knowing yeah. that, all right, you know, I'm going to be up and I'm going to be walking and I'm going to be functional, you know, even though, you know, and science says I'm not supposed to. Let me tell you something. There isn't a person in this studio, and there's quite a few people in the studio who doesn't have a smile on their face right now. And I think I've got tears in my eyes. <laughs> Nate, how much for this? You've got to tell me the cost. Um, so our ASP is around 110000 right now. Okay, 110. And that's to rehabilitation centers. Yep. An individual is buying a machine like in Europe. We can, we can sell it at a lower price possibly. Now, what about for vets? People in, so, in so we have a great partnership with an organization called Soldier Socks, okay. and Soldier Socks has committed to buying 80 exos and giving them to VA hospitals around the country. Excellent. And so far, they've given eight of those. Uh, to, be, to be clear, it's the exoskeleton, which means a skeleton form of machine outside the body. Yeah, it's essentially kind of a robot forward. that's wrapped around yes. a person. We call it a wearable ro robot sometimes. Good story.
And you are Thank a you. publicly traded company? Yes, and you know, that's what we're proving that this is a real business right now in rehab. We've, in the first nine months of this year, we've shipped 45 units to paying customers, no freebies. Now, you've and got that's plenty of competition. I mean, there are other companies which that's have a correct. very similar exoskeleton type thing. What's unique to yours? So it's really, it's all about the rehab and changing patient to patient in five minutes, for example. Also, the ability to sense what the patient can do and let them do that much, which is essential to the rehab process. Shane, could you do this without Mr. Glover? Your, I'm going to call you his handler, okay? <laughs> could you do it without um, him? I'm, I'm pretty functional in this suit. Um, I have a good sense of where I am and um, the things that, uh, I need to be doing to balance, so I think I would be able to use this hands-free, but typically it's, it's not designed for that yet. But it's coming, isn't it? It's on its way. That's fantastic. What was that little ping, uh, tweaking sound I heard there? Oh, so he just turned it off. He just, he just shut off the walkie. You turned it off? Yeah, so I he did. was able to put it in a standing position. So if you turn it back on again, that would be required to come back and sit down and take the thing off? Yes, sir. Turn it on and off, and mm -hmm. you've got to be here to do that. No, he so he was able to do that with a trigger oh, that's on his right my hand. Thumb. I could story. trigger it to walk and trigger it to stop. It was a good story, Shane. Thank I'm you. Glad you brought it to us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Does it appear good to see you standing up oh, with yeah. a smile on your face? It really Definitely. does. That's good. Definitely. Our viewers just love this, guaranteed. Nate, thank you very much indeed for doing all this for us. We're much obliged to you. Hey, thanks great. for having us. Story. It's our pleasure. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank indeed. you very much.